so let's take some of these concepts we've learned about UVs now and apply them to actual objects. So this is a model you'll download for this project and you will find um, it's actually three pieces or four pieces. There's our two bow pieces. So we have this, this bow on the top and then this ribbon that wraps around the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and hide those two right now. Control H. And then we have the box top and the box bottom. And I'll go ahead and hide the box top as well. Control H. So we have this box and we want to figure out how we can get a texture to wrap around this box neatly and look like it's a, a wrapping paper, right? Um, so before we even start looking for textures, we need to be thinking about how we would unfold the UVs for this box in order to make our texturing work easier. So let's open up our UV editor, UV, UV editor. And this is what this is going to look like. We can, um, if we want to do a little bit of uh, this, so it sort of navigates, mounts into our UI a little bit better. And this, and so now we can kind of see that this is our UV space over here, our UV toolkit along the side, and our 3D model here. So again, if I were to apply a texture to this, the UV editor, what we're seeing in the UV editor, um, it shows us how a 2D texture would align with that. Right? And we can get a quick visualization of that just by clicking this little checkerboard here. And you'll see that if, it, if our 2D texture was just this checkerboard with U1, V1, 1, 0, 0, 1, you'll see how that texture lines up. And what we're seeing is stuff like these checkers are skewed and not sort of going up and down correctly. Like our patterns would just be everywhere and, and not very sensible, right? So what we need to do is figure out how to unfold this box or unwrap this box in a way that will allow these UVs and these textures to line up with it more neatly. Um, if you want to leave this UV visualization on, you can. Sometimes it gets in the way, so I just turn it off. Uh, another thing you can do is click this button here and turn this up so you can still kind of see the underlying UVs under there and see how it works. And, and that's only going to uh, appear when you select the box and the UV editor is open. So there are some built-in tools or built-in solutions for unwrapping this box. In fact, the way the, these UVs were created was to use a camera-based UV projection system. So looking from this camera, if I went to camera, camera-based, you'll see it just creates a UV layout based off of the angle in which I'm looking at it, which isn't very useful in this situation. Let's try some of these others. So we have UV, and you'll see some of these other options we have in here. We have normal-based, contour-based, camera-based, cylindrical. And so if we did spherical, spherical creates a sphere around our, our box and tries to unwrap it in a spherical way, which isn't very useful either. Like this doesn't necessarily give us a clear understanding of how this would line up with anything. Um, so for a lot of people, in these these one button solutions are not going to get you what you need. You know, if you're doing an aluminum can, cylindrical may may get you most of the way there. But in most cases, we're going to have to do a little bit more detailed work to actually figure out these UVs. Before I do too much more, I want to open up my channel box and recognize that I have a whole bunch of stuff going on in here. Like I had scaled the mo model earlier, I have a whole bunch of other things in here. So before I do anything else, I want to go to Modify, Freeze Transformations, and Edit, Delete by Type, History. And that will sort of clean up the model before I run any of these new uh, UV solutions on here. And so the one I'm going to use is UV Automatic. And that word should always give you pause. Like you, you should never expect that I'm just going to hit that button and everything is going to work perfectly. Uh, automatic is not a one button solution. It's a it's the first button you hit to get you started in your solution. So when I hit automatic, what we're actually going to get is f six different projections. So it's going to project from all six sides. And when I say six sides, we're talking X, uh, positive X, negative X, positive Y, negative Y, positive Z, negative Z. 
And so we're getting a planar map from all those projections, and whichever face is facing that projection most, um, the Maya is going to break those polygons off into their own little island of UVs here. So what you'll see is after I've done that, if I hit W and go to, I want to right click and go to UV shell. When I highlight this, you'll see that that UV shell is that inside plane of the box, right? Um, you'll see that this thing here is that rim of the box. This is the, uh, what is that? That side of the box, right? So what we really need to start doing now, it, it broke it all up, but really the hard part is figuring out what is what. Like this plane here, what is that? Oh, it's the bottom, right? And so I'm going to start organizing these just by grabbing them and pulling them out. So this is the bottom inside, right? And I'm just going to click them and be like, okay, this is also on the inside, but it's not the bottom. And then just move these down like this. And I'm just, I'm just sort of organizing them a little bit more. Um, more inside pieces, another inside piece, another inside piece. So all of those were inside pieces. Um, and that means this one is an outside piece. So I'll pull it up here. Another outside piece. It's this one over here. Uh, that appears to be the bottom of the box. So that's good to know. And so that means these two are the outside pieces. And then this is that rim around it, right? And so really the only reason I've done this is so this um, gives me a little bit more information about how my box is oriented, right? And so if I go in here and grab just an edge, so I grab this edge here, we'll see that that edge is actually the top edge of this panel, okay? So even though I know that that's that UV shell, it's actually turned sideways, right? Um, which means that this edge right there, wait, no, I'm sorry, I did that wrong. Uh, yeah, this edge here, those edges there, are all there. Right? And what you'll notice is when I highlight those edges along the bottom, it's also highlighting these because those two UV shells share that edge. Right? They share that edge and that connects them. And so what I'm going to do now is use that knowledge to actually combine these together. So what I'll do is I'll go over here to this top edge and I'm drag selecting those. And with those selected, now I have that edge where they're, they're connected and I can stitch these back together. So in our UV toolkit, um, I have stuff expanded here that may not be expanded in yours, um, but what you're going to be looking for is cut and sew. And so if you expand that out, what I'm going to click is stitch together. Now, I will show you if I hit sew, it will sew them together, but it does that. And I don't really want that. Stitch together will move one UV um, shell to the other. Right? And so we get that. And so now this UV shell are those two pieces. Right. And so I'm able to just go through here and start stitching that together a little more cleanly just by highlighting the edges where they're connected. And then and then now I can grab this UV shell, move it over here. And again, it's kind of disorienting to me that this is on its side. So if I wanted to rotate that 90 degrees, under our um, transform tools here, we have a rotate 90 degrees. I could do the same thing down here for the inside pieces. Let's see if that's actually selecting. Okay, it's not that. There we go. Okay, so that's selecting that inside edge there. And so I can start doing stitch together with those. And now with my inside pieces, I have all of those. And what I could actually look to see is, yeah, that's my top edges here. 
so it's in the right orientation. So I can just grab that UV shell and move it up here. And really what I'm wanting now, I know that this is the inside. You know, I could stitch that in there if I wanted to, but don't necessarily have to. But really I'm just wanting to organize these now to where they all fit inside of this zero to one space. Right. And you'll see that one's actually going over a little bit, but I want it to be in this first little box of space where everything was was starting off. Uh, one of the things I can do for that is I can just grab all of my UV shells and go to Arrange and Layout and click Layout. And Maya will organize those to where they're all fitting into that one space. And we can see that this bottom piece is my outside shell. This is my inside shell. That is my bottom outside. That's my bottom inside. And this is that rim around it. And this is actually still just a touch too big, I think. So I'm going to scale that down just a little bit. And you'll see that now that texture is lining up really neatly all the way around. Now I know this piece here, like I could go in and stitch all of that together, but it's such a small edge um, that I don't think I'm actually going to see too much of an issue with it. So for now, just for speed's sake, I'm just not going to worry about it. So I'll do the same again to let's control H this bring back our um, box top shift H and when I select it it still has the the same issue again I want to go to modify freeze transformations edit delete by type history just to make sure it's clean and then I'll go to UV automatic and it's going to unfold everything um, the way we need it uh, maybe what I would do on this one, let's see, if I go to UV shell, that appears to be the inside of the box. So again, I'm just organizing this so I can see what's what. Uh, I'll move this out and be like, that's the, the inside section. Right. Uh, this is the top outside section. And really what I'd like is maybe for all of these um, outside flaps, I can find the ones that are these the outside ones appears to be um, I would like for those to just sort of stick out this way that way the seam is down the the edges and maybe the same for this and then again we just won't worry too much about this so the way I could do that is on edge here select those and stitch together Stitch together. Uh, let me move these. Nope. Uh, edge. Stitch together. Stitch together. And so now this UV shell is all of the outside edges of my box. I could do the same thing here, UV show, or I'm sorry, edge. In fact, I wonder if I could just do this. Let's see if this will work. And I, get, I get some weirdness there. So let's just do maybe a couple of them at a time. There we go. And so now I can grab all of this, say layout, and I'm just going to scale this down just a touch more. All right. So we have now laid out the box part of our gift box. Um, in the next video, we will we will work on the bow and the ribbon.